Okay, today we're making chicken broccoli. Here are the ingredients. We've got some chicken right here. Then I've got all the veggies that we're going to be needing. We have we have an inch of ginger. We've got half of a head of garlic, about this size. And I have half an onion. We have some peanut oil. Um, the mushroom sauce, rice cooking wine, and rice vinegar. I also have actually my, um, this is my own homemade chicken broth. I make the broth and then I freeze it. Um, you can use bouillon. I prefer this because it's healthier. And of course the broccoli, I forgot that. And that's okay. it. Okay, so we're going to use two teaspoons of rice wine. And then one teaspoon of rice vinegar. There we go. That's ready. Now I'm going to add some mushroom sauce. I'm just going to put about a tablespoon, maybe a little less. Not very much because I don't like my chicken broccoli dark. I'm getting my, hot, my wok ready right now and it's been probably heating up for about 30 seconds or so. And I'm going to put in some peanut oil. I'm going to put in less than a tablespoon, just a little bit. There's some water in there. It'll dry out. Okay, now I'm putting, I'm first going to put my onions in. but basically I can just let them blacken a little bit. They're not going to soften too much because I want it somewhat raw. I don't want to mush them. That good. You can blacken them some more. But that's all I'm going to do for now. Then I'm going to add the rest of that tablespoon of oil. I'm going to get a little salt, put it on my chicken. Make sure I coat this wok with the oil. And cook the chicken. Pretty much ready. I've got a little sticking, but no big deal. It'll come off. Um, if you put more oil, you won't get that. I'm trying to stay away from too much oil. Now I'm going to put in the broccoli. Okay. And I'm going to put in some of this is in melted yet. Oops. Oh, I'm just going to get it with my hand. It'll melt down. While that's happening, you can add a little bit of cornstarch, and that's what I'm going to do. Oh gosh, I guess about a half a teaspoon, depending on how thick you want it. Mix it in before. You want to mix that before you put it in there. And I'm going to put the cornstarch in last. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the garlic and the ginger in. And I like putting it in at this time. You can stir fry them a bit, but I like the flavor that I get from the garlic whenever I put it in um, right now, like when it's got the wet ingredients. You can put in the vinegar with the soy sauce. 
like I said, you could probably add oyster sauce or add um, some more soy sauce, some dark soy sauce if you'd like, if you like it darker. But I like it, I like the flavor that I get without it. So now I'm just waiting for this to melt down and I'll put in my cornstarch. I'm going to put in a little bit more. The garlic. I love how the garlic tastes. Mix it a bit. This is going to thicken it. You can add more broccoli, more chicken. I'm just going to have a different dish with this tonight, so um, that's all I'm making. Now I'm going to let this boil up a little bit and then thicken. Give it some time to thicken. And once it's ready, I tasted it might need a little bit of salt. I'll put some soy sauce instead of the salt. You can do either or. And you can just taste it as you go. That way you decide if it what it needs, if it needs something. You can add some chili flakes, whatever you'd like. I might have to sprinkle some more cornstarch in here. It doesn't seem very thick. Like I said, this isn't... Um, you don't have to do everything perfect the first time. I'm adding about, oh, let me see, about an eighth of a teaspoon. Let's see if this, what this looks like. Make sure it's broken up. If not, you'll get balls of cornstarch. I do want to get this somewhat right the first time because I don't want my broccoli mushy. It's already bright green, so it's pretty much ready. What I can do is pull this out and let that boil down. Take all the broccoli out with the chicken. After learning how to make this, it's so simple, I didn't have to go to my favorite Chinese restaurant anymore. Just when I don't feel like cooking, but this is so quick and easy and cheap to make. I'm just going to let it go the way I want it. I'm just going to put everything, including the onions, in. I'm going to give them a quick toss, and that's it for this one. It's ready. There we go.